Hello, everybody. Facebook a minute here to work. I'm just getting my comments <clears throat> up here on my iPad. I'm going to put this directly on YouTube once I am done here. Hi, Chris. So if you're watching on YouTube, hello. Here I am. <clears throat> Hi, Martha. Martha, I almost every single time call you Miller <laughs> because that's the very last word in your in your name there. And I it always catches my eye and it I almost always go to say, hello, Miller. <laughs> and, then, and then like I catch myself. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hi, Debbie. Debbie, I got your email. Yes, I did get your sign up. I'm almost positive for the paper share. <clears throat> I believe I remember seeing your form come through. I will double check. And if you didn't, I'll get back to you on that email. I just ate lunch. I had tomato soup. And I feel like maybe that wasn't the best thing to do <clears throat> right before I did a video. <clears throat> no problem, Debbie. We have a bunch of stuff to chat about, you guys. So let me turn on a light here. Or let me turn on the lights. This morning I have been working on straightening my office up. <clears throat> I feel like it's just exploded. Like there's so many projects and stuff going on. It's crazy. Okay, so I want to sh do some show and tell first. Let me um, wipe this down. I feel like there's crumbs. I hope everybody is having a good week. It is Friday, which is always nice. I was telling Chris earlier that every Friday, Viley comes home. Violet, our middle one. She comes home and she um, says, goodbye, school week, hello, weekend. <laughs> it's so funny. So we are definitely, we're here. We're almost to the weekend. Okay, so let's start with, if you ordered for my Black Friday special and you got free shipping and you got a stamp set, I got these yesterday. So I will be sending your refund for your shipping and your stamp set out. <clears throat> I just got them yesterday and I will package them up today and get them sent out. I also have several packages going out to people um, today. So if you're expecting some happy mail from me, it's on its way. Second thing, a little reminder, is I have an adhesive sale happening this month. Um, there is two different packages. Package number one is you buy five of the snail refills and five of the dimensional sheets. You get free shipping, free tax, and then you get um, a free refill and a free dimensional. So that's package one. It's $44. Package two is you get two each of each of these. Two glue dots, two multi-liquid glues, <clears throat> Um, two sets of black dimensionals, two refills, two sets of regular dimensionals, and two sets of tear and tape. It's $54. You get free shipping, free tax, and then you get a snail container. So you get the regular container piece free. So these are the refills, and then there's a container, and then you'll get the container for free. So those are two of my adhesive packets that are for sale this month. <clears throat> I will pop the links in to purchase those um, in the description when I get done here. So that is happening. <clears throat> Next, really quick, I got all of my celebration cat or my um, mini catalogs. I got them yesterday. I believe 
My celebration catalogs will be here today, along with my pre-order of product from this catalog. <clears throat> And so I will have the rest of the papers to share with you guys if by chance the UPS guy shows up while we're live. I will share with you guys. I'll open the box up and share with you um, what I got. Here are three of the papers that I have. The Spring Fling Paper Party is now open to purchase. You can purchase just the paper which is seven brand new papers. You can purchase just the papers and be part of the party and all the giveaways and get the um, party pack and everything for $39. So the Spring Fling Paper Party is the paper share that I've done for many years. You get a quarter pack of each set of designer paper. And then with each set of designer paper, you get a card kit. And that uh, is so that you can make a card right away with the paper that you get. There are pre-recorded videos and a PDF so that you can make your cards. There's no confusion. It's re really um, a nicely laid out PDF. And then the videos are pre-recorded, so you can make those at any time. And then there is a Facebook Live Hangout with Wendy and I. Wendy Cranford and I do this together. And we um, craft with you guys. There's challenges that we do. We hang out and chit-chat and craft, have a little popcorn. It's a really fun night. So... Um, and then you get the product. You get the beautiful paper. Sometimes the paper um, is deceiving in the catalog. And you get the paper and it's not at all what you thought it would be. It's not, you know, and then you're disappointed. So this is a great way to get all of the paper and see what you like. And if you'll really use it. And then you can commit to the 12 by 12. And what I've been doing... Um, here's just a little tip from me to you. If there is a paper that you are liking, I would purchase it right away because unfortunately, uh, we have had paper in the holiday catalog that has um, sold out and you haven't been able to get it. And like right now, the Let It Snow designer paper is gone forever. So what I've been doing is I order all of the paper right away, um, right as soon as I can get all the paper I always do. Then I decide what papers I'm loving, like this poppy paper I will probably get more of and I'll just get several packs so that I know that I have it for the projects that I want to make and then I don't have to worry about if it sells out. And that is just a tip from me to you so that you're not left with not being able to... Um, to get it. So um, the first option is just the $39 option. You just get all the papers. You're part of the party. You get entered in the giveaways. You get my pillow gifts that come in the package. And that is that. The second option is to get two of the bundles that we are using to make all of the cards. So there are two bundles in here. One coordinates with this paper here. And when you get those two bundles, you don't pay shipping or tax on those bundles. So that's amazing. And then you will also get, when you do the bundle, you will get the two sets of paper that are in the celebration catalog. So this is one of them right here. You can kind of see. I know it's not a lot, um, but it kind of gives you an idea. And then the second set is my favorite of all of the paper that we're going to see here. And it is this honey bee paper. And so you will get two, uh, both of these, you'll get them in six by six, and then you will get exclusive card kits. So you get your, your product. So it's a, um, let me see. It's a, because I can't show you guys on camera, but let me see. It's a stamp set and a punch, and then I think a stamp set and a die. Uh, yeah, a stamp set and a die. So you'll get those tax-free, shipping-free, and then you get the exclusive paper in here. We will be giving away um, lots of stuff in this one. This one will be our biggest 
one yet uh, because we worked out some kinks. We've figured some things out and we have the ordering process down pretty well. And so we uh, are giving away more stuff than we've ever given away in this one. So I'm very, very excited about it. Um, so if you want to sign up, there will be a link for you to sign up and please sign up right away. You'll be invoiced at the end of the month. So you can sign up now and be invoiced later. And then um, all the details of that are up. And I'm sharing, I know I'm sharing about this a lot, you guys. It's just we're getting um, ready to start prepping and getting our cards made and getting the PDF made. And so it's good for us to know who, how many people, um, you know, are signing up and interested. Okay, so I want to show you guys a few things that I got this week. I have some swap cards that I got, and I'm going to share those. Let me catch up on comments really quick. Quick. Happy Friday, Kathy. Hey, Julie. Uh, Julie, are you saying you're going to sign up for option two? Oh, I think that is what you're saying. Merry Christmas to you. It was so fun to have you last time and I think you even won something didn't you the poppy paper is really pretty I love it ah uh, oh no Julie <laughs> hey Janice okay so here's a fun gift that I got yesterday um that I wanted to share with you guys here's the card it's a paper pumpkin card I did not do this kit and, you know, as I'm looking at this, I'm thinking, oh, I made the ornaments. That's what I did. I made these from this kit. I have Christmas ornaments to show you guys today. I made these. Instead of making cards, I made DIY handmade ornaments. I was, like, looking at this and thinking, I don't remember doing these cards. But this is a paper pumpkin one. This is a card from Wendy. Um, she is the person that I signed up with directly for Stampin' Up! many, many moons ago. And um, she gave me this gift. It is, she gave me the card. And then um, this gift here, this necklace, this is all for, it's a Stampin' Up! gift from her. It is for my title with Stampin' Up. So I am currently a gold elite. And she gave all of her um, people on her team gifts. And so there's this necklace here, which is really pretty. I When it comes to jewelry, I'm very, very simple. So I like this. It's a simple... Um, I'm not into like really big things. I like dainty, tiny things. So there was that. There was a beautiful purse um, that I love. I've already switched all of my stuff into it. And so I don't have it in here, but it was a beautiful brown purse. And then um, there was also this, which is an enamel pin. And so I thought this was really fun. So it's an enamel pen. It's a Christmas one. I love enamel pens. It's one thing that I have a little collection of. I have um, some from Ali Edwards and some from, um, it's called the Gray Muse, I think. Um, she has some crafty ones that I love. And then recently, Wendy started doing these enamel pens for um, her Stampin' Up! stuff, which is really fun. And so I will add that to my small collection. But I just love enamel pens and displaying them. They're in my craft room. And then that, uh, this was in here. And so I thought that was nice that it was decorated up. I thought, you guys, this is so funny. This says, thanks for being one of my greatest gifts. It's a little cheesy for me. <laughs> it's a little, you know, those sentiments that are like really like um, gushy. I'm like, mm, it's a little cheesy, but it was cute. It's a cute um, thing. And it's just me. It's not, you know, it's a great sentiment. And I think it's very fun. But it's like, um, I just like kind of cracked up because I was like, eh. Like, maybe that's going too far. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, so there's that. So I was just excited. That was, it was very nice. And um, it was fun to get. It was unexpected. So then before we jump in and do our crafty project, I wanted to show you, because last week we were talking about um, DIY ornaments. And I was saying that I have done an ornament every year for, I don't know, the past five or six years where I make something to hang on the tree and, um, you know, with my crafty stuff. And so I pulled a few of them to share with you. Um, these are the ones that we did, I think last week it was, and I'll hang these up. I wrote on the back um, what year they were from, and I'll hang them up with some things. And then I thought that, um, like Kathy said, cute, I love cheesy, right? <laughs> um, I thought I would share some of the ones that I've done. So this one is one that I did. Now these are plastic. I just got them at like Walmart. And these have glitter stars in them and pom-poms. And then the paper is just curled. This was a designer paper that we had that year. And then I wrapped a bow around it. And this was ribbon that we had that year as well. And then you could totally get the glass ones. The glass ones would probably be a little prettier. I'm noticing as the years go on that because this is plastic, they're getting scratched and scuffed quite a bit. But I have probably like five of these on the tree. And they're pretty. I just did them all with the same paper. So there was that one. Um, one year we did these. Now these are just salt dough ornaments that you can do. And then I just used, um, I think I actually used my gold Wink Estella to add the glitter to these. And we did the stars and then I just punched a hole in them. And um, I actually, this was when Violet was in kindergarten, I made these with Violet. And then she gave one of these to all of her... Um, classmates and then this was ribbon from that year as well so there was that and I we also did um oh these hearts we did hearts too and these actually are the kids thumbprints but you can't really tell that they're thumbprints after they break baked up but one was Kayla's one was Violet's and one was Andrew's and again the ribbon is just on there and then it hangs on the tree so that's fun and then um, the year Kayla was in first grade, um, she did these. And we collected these pine cones at my grandma's. And then we covered them in glitter and put a bow on them and a hook. And then she gave um, these to all of her classmates um, right before Christmas break as a gift. And then last year I made this. with the um this was the alpine bundle and it had this sled in it and so i just cut out uh i think i did like seven or eight and stacked them together i did wink estella over the top of it then i stamped and embossed um let the heaven and nature sing let heaven and nature sing and then i put a hook on it hey mom and so that's what i did uh, last year and then there's this gold sequence on it so that was some of the ones that I've done throughout the years our tree um, we got a small one last year and this year and barely all of our ornaments fit in fact not all of our ornaments fit on it um, I I didn't I had to purposely put some leave some off Okay, so let me grab all the stuff we're going to do, and then let me show you the last two things that I purchased from the holiday catalog. So the holiday catalog is um, retiring. All the product will retire at the end of the month. So let me show you the last two items, three items, that I purchased from the catalog. And... Um, what was I going to say? I lost my train of thought. Oh, and you'll be seeing me use this these items um, in the next couple weeks. So the first, so I got a couple stamp sets and die sets. I got this stamp set. 
And um, it's photopolymer. It is the snow front. And I don't know, there is just something about these types of stamps. They're so trendy right now. And there's several of them in the catalog. We have this one in the holiday. And then we have one called, I'm looking on my shelf right now, looking for it. Oh, it's called, um, is it called Waterfront? Yeah, it's, it fell over, Waterfront. See this one here? Is very much kind of like this. We have one coming up in the mini catalog that I'm going to get, but they're so trendy and I think I'm going to give them a try. I don't really know how to use these. Like I'm not, I feel like I'm not very creative when it comes to these kinds of sets, but I think that I'm going to try it. So I got um, snow front and then the two that I got that have dyes are these. So this is Sip Sip Hooray, and I actually had thought I ordered it in my pre-order when I started pre-ordering from the holiday catalog. Um, I, you guys might remember, I thought that I had ordered this, but I accidentally ordered the other bundle in the back of the catalog. And so um, I was disappointed because I had wanted this set. So this is Sip Sip Hooray, and then there's dyes that coordinate with it. And then here is the skate bundle. And both of these, this one I got for uh, half off, and this one I actually got for free using my rewards through Stampin' Up! And just the way my pre-order worked out, I had um, extra stuff on there. So there's that. And then there's this one, which... I had kind of originally thought when I first saw the catalog that I might just get the dies and not because the dies you could do so many cute things with just the dies. You don't necessarily need the stamp, but it just worked out that I thought this would be good to get here at the end of the catalog. So all of this is retiring at the end of um, the holiday catalog. So that will be fun. You guys will be seeing that coming up this next week. So let's get started and make something. Um, this Today I'm using this set again, which we used on Monday. So many stars. Um, there is a set in the um, catalog coming up in the mini that coordinates with these dies. So I'm going to go out on a limb and I am going to say that these are going to carry over into the annual catalog, which is fantastic. So if you want to save a little bit of money and get the bundle and save 10%, now's the time to do that. And then you're going to have sets following that are going to coordinate with this. So eventually you're going to want this. I promise you, you're going to want this. So just go ahead and get it with the bundle and save the you know, the money on it. And then this has some great sentiments for Christmas. This is one that I'll probably keep forever. So that's what we're using. So let's get started. We're going to be doing some heat embossing. So it's going to be messy and it's going to be loud. Oh, let me show you guys swap cards really quick. I got my swap cards. Our team does swaps. And what that means is you make a certain amount of the same kind, you know, like this time I think we made, I think five or six. And um, then you get that many different back. So I wanted to show you guys these. So this was done by Amy. She is on my team and she did this really fun different fold card, which I love. She used the um, ornament set and the brightly gleaming. She included a envelope, which she stamped on, which I appreciate because I always forget to stamp on my envelopes. This one is super cute. I love this. This is from Debbie. Debbie, you did a beautiful job, and I love your business card. 
So here, I didn't, my husband shipped all of my cards. I didn't have them in bags yet. I didn't have my information in them. And he picked everything up and like shipped everything for me. And I went to like finish up the package and I was like, uh, that wasn't ready to go yet. <laughs> oh, well, that's okay. So here's this one and she stamped inside the card. I love that. Here is one with the... Oh, Chris, this is Chris's. Oh, oh, this is, I'm sure this is going to be fabulous. Okay. I didn't know she, I didn't know you got that set, Chris. So Chris is on here with us. This is Chris. She included her business card and, and an envelope in which she stamped on. Oh, this is so beautiful. This, I bet she stamped with a silver um, ink pad. And then she did kind of a fun fold too. Let me see. Let me. Uh, it's so pretty. I don't want to. Okay. I'm assuming I have to untie this. Okay. Oh my gosh, Chris. This is too fun. What kind of card is this called? This is like a crazy fold. Crazy layered card. <laughs> you know, some cards are like Z fold or, um, oh, and then she used that acetate. This is just fun to keep opening. Kathy said she's going to case this. So I'm going to, I'm going to do this and hold it up so you can case it. So there's this, then it opens. So it's like a you know, what size, um, this is like three and a half, probably by three and a half. Yeah. Three and a half by three and a half card. And then there's this flap here. See this little flap. So just if you're wanting to case the design of the card, so you have that little flap and then you put that three and a half by three and a half over it. And then wrap the ribbon underneath the three by three, three and a half by three and a half, pull that over. And then the other ribbon is underneath this design, underneath the layer. That's about as much instruction as you'll get from me on this kind of card. Cause you guys know, looks beautiful. Seems like a lot of work. And make sure you go follow Chris because she does this stuff on, on her YouTube channel and on her Facebook. This is the kind of amazing stuff she does. I'm not even going to use this card. I'm displaying this card, you guys. Okay, let's set that aside. Okay, and the envelope. I love it. Okay, I didn't include envelopes in my... Um, Uh-oh, whose is this? Oh, Mary. This is from Mary with her business card. And I love it. The let it snow paper and envelope. Yes. Go. Um, oh, she has a YouTube video on it. You guys, it's called a double flap card. Awesome. So if you want to know how to make that, go watch her YouTube channel. Make sure you follow her because these are the things that she does. They're amazing. So there's Mary's. I'm glad I remembered to show you guys these. Okay. Then there's this. Oh, this is gorgeous. I think everybody stamped on their envelopes. Okay, so this is... Kathy. Kathy has beautiful cards, always. She stamped on the envelope. And she used... Oh, so this is... I was like, oh, she used non-Christmas uh, paper for a Christmas card, but it's not really a Christmas card. <laughs> it's a thinking of you card, which I don't have enough of these. And she added the paper inside. What a good idea. Love it. And then the two cards, I sent two cards to everybody. Um, and I did, um, one of my, um, rose cards. The Christmas time is here. One of these. And then I did one of the wonderful time of the year cards. So those are swap cards. Yay. Okay. So let's set those aside and let's make something. So we're using 
basic black cardstock. I have a card base in black. Now, one thing that I have been forgetting to do, and it's driving me crazy because I'm um, using all of my cards right now. And one thing that I've been forgetting to do is add the white panel inside. So I want to do that right now. We're going to cut this at four by five and a quarter. And that's going to um, give us our inside piece. So definitely for a black card base, we're definitely going to need an inside piece. So we will just add that. Okay, now we're going to set this aside. This is our card base. So all I did is I took basic black cardstock. I cut it. I cut an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. I cut it at four and a quarter and then I folded it at five and a half. So that's my card base and we're going to set that aside. And then we need a piece of scratch paper. This piece is cut at four inches by five and a quarter. So it is going to fit right on top of our card base. And we're going to have a little tiny bit of a border. So we're going to do a whole bunch of heat embossing. So out of the star stamp set, I grabbed this one. Now you guys know that sometimes I will cut apart stamps like this. And I could definitely see cutting the two, these two off. Um, and I feel like I'm going to do that. I feel like for the card, Debbie, I just showed your card, your swap card. I feel like to do what I want to do, I think it's going to be best if I cut this. So it's really easy to cut photopolymer sets because you can just pull them apart. And then very carefully... Do a little stamp surgery. Yeah, I think this is going to be easier to do what I want to do. So let's get another block. Then I don't have to use this long block because I feel like sometimes I struggle with those. Okay. Oh, rocking around the Christmas tree is on up in the living room. It's Kayla's new favorite Christmas song. It's my favorite Christmas song and has been forever. But she loves it and she keeps trying to catch it when it's on. I have been having Christmas music going a ton and she keeps wanting it to play and it never plays when she's home. I told her yesterday, I heard it three times yesterday. Okay, so what you need to do heat embossing is you need Versamark. This says new. Put, look at it. It's a mess. I've had it for a couple years. And then we're going to use gold embossing powder. And we're going to need um, the heat tool. And then my embossing buddy, which is this guy right here. So the first thing we're going to do is put some powder on here where we're going to be doing the stamping. So I'm going to be doing stamping here and down in this corner. Okay, so now let's do our stamping. So what I want to do is add gold stars down here. We're going to start and I am going off the page, off the cardstock a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it in stages. So I'm going to stamp a little bit, put gold embossing powder on here, and then heat set. And then we're going to do this several times. So I'm going to let my heat tool heat up. 
So I'm just letting it run for a few minutes, not a few minutes, like a few seconds. And then watch the magic. So pretty, right? I touched right here. So I'm gonna bring my embossing buddy back over. That's gonna help the embossing powder to not stick to any spot I don't want it to. Oh yeah, I'm so glad I cut this stamp apart. That's gonna work way better. So now let's do it again. Oh no. Oh, I was trying to avoid dropping that in there. And with embossing powder and Versamark, you don't have to work really fast. The Versamark gives you a little bit of time. So that is nice. Okay, so let's heat set this again. Look how pretty this is. And then what I want to do is I want this to come up at an angle. So you can see I did several. I'm, I'm doing like one or just two at a time because I want them spaced out and it's hard to see. It's hard to see where you stamp, especially on black cardstock. See, this one got kind of close. Which is okay. But I mean, I definitely think that's, uh, it's working out that I went ahead and cut this. So... Feel like I just want to do there. And there. Okay, who's still with me? Okay, I think that'll be the last two. And then I noticed down here my, my embossing powder didn't get melted. So I'm gonna come back over here and melt that and then get these melted. Okay. Okay, and then one more actually. I wanna do one more. So I'm going to do these three. Okay, let's do these three. And then we still have to do the sentiment. Okay. 
Okay. I love heat embossing. It is so magical. I just love it. Okay. So now I'm going to, where's my embossing buddy? Right here. Okay. Whoa. Okay. So now I'm going to do my sentiment, which I'm doing this Oh Holy Night sentiment. And we're going to, okay, so I'm going to stamp this right. I'm going to bring it over right in front of me. I'm, and I know I'm off camera, but I really want to get this straight. And I have to get right over it to get it straight. And then it will be a miracle if I get it straight. But I'll show you. Okay, so I've stamped it. Now let's heat set it and then we'll see if I did it straight or not. And I don't think that I really did. So, you know, there's that. Yeah, I mean, it's really not the straightest it could be. Okay, so let's set that aside for one second. Oops, and I dropped my card base. Let me grab it. I was trying to hang my heat tool up. It hangs on the side of my desk. So, okay. Okay. Okay, so now you'll notice that there's this white. And I feel like it's more white than normal because I accidentally, the way my, my powder tool was. So what I'm going to do is, of course, I always wipe up all this extra embossing powder because it makes your work surface feel like gritty. So we do that. And then we put the lid on our embossing powder because otherwise we spill it. So I just put this on here. I get asked all the time what these are. These are just this brand here. You can get these at TJ Maxx or you can order them and they just have the, the um, seal part. And then I punched um, a circle out and stamped this on the circle and heat set it so I would know which one was what. And then that's how I store it. So we wipe all this up and then of course we need to let it dry. So what I do is because I've been working with the powder and the cardstock, my hands are really, really dry. So I'm going to just wet them a little bit. They're not wet per se, but they're a little bit damp. And then I'm going to run my fingers over this. I feel like when that embossing powder drop, or when that powder thing dropped, it kind of made a mess with the powder. So, and my mom said this would be pretty in silver, and it would It'd be very pretty in silver. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of that. And then there's embossing powder on the back here. Just waiting for that to dry. Okay, so now I wanna put some foam on the back of this card. So we'll add some foam to this. And then we'll add this to our card base. And then I still feel like it's a little, like that embossing buddy when I dropped it, it really let out a lot of powder. So you can keep doing this. You don't wanna take this directly to your cardstock because it will break those fibers down. I think that's probably as good as I'm gonna get it. Okay. 
Oh, I forgot a step. Oh, good. Okay. So I pulled out some white and green Baker's Twine. This is from, I feel like, several catalogs ago. This is really thick Baker's Twine because it's two sets of Baker's Twine put together. It's white and green, and then it's twirled together. So it's very, very thick. I'm just untwisting it a little. It makes it a little thinner. And then right here where the foam isn't, I'm gonna put it on the side here. Okay, and then let's tie a bow, like just a simple bow. I'm gonna leave that bow pretty uh, big, not big, but just like the loops are um, pretty big. And then I'm also gonna leave the string Longer than I normally do. Maybe not quite that long. That might look ridiculous. Okay. We'll flatten that up. And then we're going to add more adhesive since I pulled that up. There we go. And then my it, my card base is a little messed up because I pulled this off here. Just flatten it down. And then you could add some sequins or some um, rhinestones. The other thing that you can do is I have a whole bunch of these... I have this little dish here that I'll sometimes throw dies in that sits in front of me. And I have a whole bunch of these stars just from other things that I've been cutting out. And you could pop these up and add them just for another, another element on here. I really love the gold embossing with the um, gold glimmer. But I had been wanting to play around with black cardstock, and so this is what I came up with. So there is that. I'm just catching up on comments, guys. Just, I got into creating and forgot to look up. Hey, Melissa. So that is our card for today. Let me know if you guys try something like this. My sentiment is definitely crooked now that I'm looking at it. I should have done it over a little bit. And maybe down in here would have been better. But it's a fun one for a different style card. So I hope you enjoyed seeing this. I'll have a PDF for you guys next week. I'm going to go ahead and pop this on YouTube. I need to get caught up on my videos and blog posts for this week. I'm a little bit behind. Everything's done and it's filmed. It's just not edited and uploaded. So I need to do that and then I'll pop in a PDF for you guys of this card. And then next week you'll start seeing me use the couple of sets that I got. And it doesn't seem like UPS is going to get here. Um, I did get a time change for my package. So they're busy with the holiday season. 
So unfortunately, I can't show you guys um, what I pre-ordered, but look for that maybe Monday. I will be sharing with you guys. So I hope you guys have a great Friday and a great weekend, and I will see you guys next week. Have a great day, guys.